Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dawn with Candy Cane Ridge and we are here today for block number four of our Christmas in July Santa's Coming quilt along. So behind me we have block number one, block number two, and block number three. I hope you joined me Wednesday when I was able to get all of the fabric cut for today's video. So let's get started. Today we are making a Christmas gift. That is what we have all laid out here. So everything is already cut and it's pretty much in place. So if you are wanting the pattern for this, in the description below is the downloadable link. It'll take you to my website and you can download the free pattern there. So we've got, so everything is, is already cut. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to make eight half square triangles at one time. So I have my block here and I'm just going to draw a line from corner to corner on the diagonal. And I'm just using a regular pencil. And I'm drawing on the, the wrong side of the fabric. So we are going to take our square that we just drew on and we're going to put it right sides together with our other fabric. Now I'm going to put a pin at the top drawn line, the up and down line. And I'm gonna pin on the side to side lines. Now, when we take this to the sewing machine, we're only going to stitch the diagonal directions. We're not gonna stitch on the up and down, and we're not gonna stitch on the side to side. We're going to stitch one quarter of an inch away from this diagonal line, and we're gonna stitch one quarter of an inch away from this diagonal line. Took all the pins out, and now we're going to cut. So I'm gonna cut on the up and down. You can either do the up and down or the side to side first. So we're actually cutting on all of the drawn lines that we drew. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight. Now we're going to square these up to one and a half inches. So, let me show you. I just have my little, I just have a little four and a half inch ruler right here. And how I like to do it, there's lots of different ways you can square up your half square triangles. But I'm going to actually come in one and a half inches and I'm going to draw a line to give my eyes somewhere to go. It's a dry erase marker, wipes right off, no biggie. So I have drawn me a line from, it's, a, it's one and a half inches from the outside to this line. So I'm gonna take each one of my squares. Here is my 45 degree angle line. I'm gonna put this 45 degree angle line on my stitch line. And I'm going to line up this 45 degree line and where my one and a half inch meets my 45 is going to be right at the corner of where my stitch line and the edge of my fabric meet. And there we have our one and a half inch square. Let me trim these dog ears. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a press. And there we have our one and a half inch square. I'm gonna do that same thing I'll show you again. So on my ruler, I have my one and a half inch line marked. And where my one and a half inch line meets my 45 degree line, where they meet, I'm gonna put right here at the edge of my stitch line and the edge of my fabric. My 45 is gonna be on my stitch line. And you can trim that dog ear just like that if you want to. Give that a press. Trim this little dog ear. And there you have your one and a half inch half square triangle. You do have a little bit of waste, but to me it's easier to make sure that I get the right measurement. So I'm gonna do that for all of these. If you're following along with me in the instructions, we have our little one and a half inch squares here. So, using the diagram, this is where I caution you, use the diagram and lay them out before you go to stitching 
because it is very easy to get them turned around. Because this is your bow on your present or on your gift. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, now that I've got it all laid out, I'm going to take my half square triangle and I'm going to put it over and I'm going to put the pin in the side that I'm supposed to stitch. Okay, that tells me the side that I'm supposed to stitch. Now you can go ahead and you can do that to all of them. But I'm gonna do one little set at a time. So I'm gonna take these two to the sewing machine. Paying attention as to what side I've got my, my pin on. And we're just gonna stitch with our same quarter of an inch. I'm gonna snip these. And I'm gonna finger press to not the half square triangle side. Okay. Now, I know because of my pattern diagram, which, di which direction my reds need to go. So now that I've got that laid out, I can put one over the top. We're basically making a little miniature four patch. I'm gonna nest those little seams right there. Put a pin in. And we're gonna stitch right down this, the side there with our quarter inch seam. And there we have our little miniature four patch, which is part of our bow. I'm gonna do that same procedure to all four I'm gonna press this just to one side. Really and truly, I'm gonna press it to whatever direction it's wanting to go. And there we have it. I'm gonna do the same thing to these. I've already got them pinned. I know which sides I'm gonna stitch on. All right, I'm gonna press this one. They just kind of, I don't know, they just kind of have a way that they want to go. So I'm just letting it go the way it wants to go. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put the half square triangle on top. And this is the side I need to stitch on. Okay. 
But if you will follow the diagram, Now, if you're gutsy enough to go through and chain piece them all together, go for it. I've already done that and made a big boo-boo, so <laughs> I'm not doing that again. <laughs> So basically, our reds are in alternating corners. So if you've never made half square triangles this small, congratulations to you. You can't say that anymore. All right, so now we're going to take, we've got all of our, our little, if you're following along in our pattern, our C's and G's are already all put together. So now we're going to take our B and stitch it to this side of our four patch here. And I'm just gonna take all of these at the same time to the sewing machine. I'm just gonna pin on the side that I need to stitch. Now I have my solid piece on the bottom. That way I can make sure that my seams don't flip and get all wonky underneath there. And I'm just gonna chain piece these. those. I'm going to press them to the solid piece.
right. So we've got all of our little corners of our bow attached to our letter B. So now we're just gonna go ahead and take our A's and stitch. We're gonna stitch right down the top there. We're gonna stitch right down the top here. I'm gonna move these over. And we're gonna bring these up. We're gonna stitch a quarter of an inch there and a quarter of an inch there. I'm gonna give these a good press. All right. So now we're going to take our center, our letter D, and I'm gonna stitch it to the top, and then we're gonna press it down, and then I'm gonna add this to there. So I'm gonna take all three of these to the sewing machine, and we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna stitch it using a quarter of an inch seam, and then we're gonna take the bottom half and stitch using a quarter of an inch seam. And again, we're just gonna finger press towards the silver or whatever color your bow is. You don't have to use silver. All right. I'm gonna get these pressed towards the silver or towards the center. All we have left is our center strip. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna roll it over. We're gonna stitch down using a quarter of an inch. We'll finger press and then we'll add this side on. I'm going to pin where my Seams are going in the in the other direction.
Perfect. All we have left to do is just kind of square this up a little bit. Here we have block number four of our Christmas in July Santa's Coming Quilt Along. Remember, you can go down in the description and you can download the free pattern for just this one block. Join me next week as I put all of these four together and we make a wall hanging. So I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.